Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm about to install these two things right here from Baja Design. This is the 20 inch S8 light bar and clear that goes into my TRD Pro grill. And then there's also the S2 Sport reverse kit going in that goes underneath the rear bumper here. Now in the last video, I installed the switch panel and if you guys missed it, I'll show you guys right here. But some of you guys actually called out something that I kind of overlooked that I was kind of unhappy with. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right now, but here it is. We have the windshield lights mounted up so far to it. I think today is a good day to add a few more buttons to that switch panel. But let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I was kind of unhappy with the fact that once you throw all these wires on here, like the positive, the ground, this wiring harness that feeds off of this fuse panel here for MIC tuning into the truck to the switch panel, I couldn't use the cover anymore, which doesn't look very good. It's very messy looking to me. And you guys did point out the fact that I over, I over, I don't know how I overlooked this, but there's an opening right there to feed the wiring through. But only thing is I have to move this entire fuse panel over a little bit to where this part hangs off the edge of the factory fuse box cover so I can feed all those wires through it and the cover can go back on. We'll worry about that some other time. Today I'm pretty excited to install those Baja Design lights because I've, I've never spent so much money ever on some off-road lighting until now from Baja Designs. They are definitely top dollar, but apparently top quality as well. So I'm pretty excited to find out more about that. Also too, dude, wiring stuff up is my least favorite thing to do in the entire world. Now that we have that new uh, fuse panel underneath the hood to wire all the accessories into, it should be a lot easier now. So I'm not dreading it quite as bad. Also too, I think while we're still here and in the California sun, let's open up the box here and see what these things look like. Check this thing out. That is nice. It has some weight to it too, dude. This thing is heavy. And here's the S2 Sport lights for the rear. Pretty much it. Let's go back on down to the garage. Let's get her dialed in. I'm gonna save the best part for last and put all the wiring to the side for now. But the first thing I wanna do is hook up these lights right here. So I'm gonna grab the lights, the U-bolts, and the brackets. I need those threads to face towards the front of the truck. So I'm gonna kinda of finesse it behind this tow hitch cross member, twisting the U-bolts. Maybe try this way. There we go, seems a little better. And then twist it. There we go. And slide the bracket on, washer. A nut. All right, perfect. So now that I have them hand tightened, I can still move it around a little bit. I feel like getting it nice and center with the reverse light on the truck there on the bumper would look the best. So I'll move it over to my left a little bit, right to where it's like flush with that light right there. And that should look pretty good. So I got the bracket hooked up to the light here now. It's got a bolt, there's a washer up in there. And then there's a little serrated washer in there. And these bolts that hold down the bracket to the light right here, tighten those down with the Allen head. Grab this washer and then this nut right here, throw it on the bracket on the truck. All right, so washer first and then the locking nut right there on the back side. And then once I adjust everything where I want it, I'll tighten it all down, including these two bolts right here on the side. I'm gonna use the open end wrench right here to hold down the other side of the bolt while I tighten down the locking nut here on the back side using a 3 16 Tighten that guy down right there. Okay, perfect. We're locked in. So we're good there. Now I'm gonna grab an Allen head and tighten these two screws down right here. The lights all hooked up now to the rear bumper. Set up on the brackets there, it's all tightened down. In position, the perfect clearance between the bumper there and the light itself. Now we have the uh, loose hanging wire right there, the harness. The way the instructions here have you set it up, if you were to follow the instructions, is they would come on anytime the truck's in reverse, which is something I don't wanna do. So I'm gonna hook mine up a little bit differently. I wire mine to my switch panel so I can turn them on whenever I want to and I'm not forced to have them on, say if I'm backing up into somebody who I'm blinding or something like that in a parking spot, wire it to, or wired up to the switch panel. So as you guys can see, we have one cable hanging off that light right there and one cable hanging off that light right there. This splitter right here is going to turn those two cables into one. I'm dropping the second extension wire 
down to underneath the truck and I'm gonna feed the other side of it to my uh, fuse panel right here and then connect the other part of it to the extension cable over there and then cut the wires right here exposing the black and red and then put it into the proper post right here on the fuse panel. I'm going to connect the two extension cables together before I lock everything in to tying it all down and stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to loosen up a little 5 amp fuse and throw it in there. Each one of the lights only pulls about one, so I'm actually going to probably replace that fuse with a 3 amp fuse eventually. <laughs> These things are so bright. But yeah, dude, just like that, they work. So now what I'm gonna do is just kind of tidy up all the wiring, um, run it over the axle, zip tie it out of the way and whatnot. Just clean things up a little bit, but yeah, dude, there we go. Hooked it straight up to the switch panel. So we can turn these things on whenever we want to. Truck on, truck off, while we're driving forward, anytime we want. So y'all better behave in traffic, cause. tucked away real nice over the axle and then up on the frame right above the frame is a wiring loom already so i zip tied it up to that and then ran it all the way down towards the front through the wheel wheel well area and then behind that plastic shield right there is tied it up to those wires right there and then poked it up through the top of the engine bay here there's a little bit of um, excess wire so i zip tied it up right there and then Ran into that spot right there. That's pretty much it. We're all dialed in, so. Oh my gosh, dude. It's pretty insane. I mean, these are basically headlights on the rear here, dude. Which is nuts for how small they are. I mean, it's crazy how tiny they are and how bright they are. It's also a very clean type of light, too. It's like very pure white, which I like. It's a very nice look, but we will wait for the sun to go down all the way, and then we'll take them outside and see what these things can do. Hopefully the reserve tank has my back tonight because Yep, we're living life on the edge a little bit. No, wait. This can't be. What? 745, 748? It's time to go, I guess. All right, so nice and dark outside now. Let's fire up these Baja lights in the rear and let's see what these things are all about. Okay. Dang, dude. First of all, actually, let me show you guys what it looks like before the lights are on. It's probably a better idea. We'll turn these off and pretty dark it seems brighter on my phone for some reason it's a lot darker in person turn these things up and there we have it so yeah i mean pretty impressive good range on them too oh my gosh yeah dude that's bright for sure but i like the um the temperature of the light too so they are a 5k which matches daylight which is a very nice looking light it doesn't have a blue to it or a yellow or any type of like color tone to it it's a clean just nice temperature of light i like that a lot right there so yeah does a good job of i think it's a proper you know reverse type of light um the s2s come in a driving light spotlight floodlight a work light and then these are the wide cornering light i'm not too sure how those compare to like a spot or um like a floodlight or a work light but this is the wide cornering light right here. So I assume that's pretty similar to a floodlight with a little more range on it maybe because we're lighting up pretty good back here. Yeah, dude, I, I couldn't imagine having these things on with the reverse function automatically. That'd be insane to me. Um, I didn't get to that step. There's like 18 steps in the instruction manual, but um, I got to like step number six, which is just installing the actual light assembly itself. And then I did my own type of wiring. Um, I used the splitter, then the extension cable, and then wired the positive and negative into my switch panel that's all i did but there is instructions in there for you to wire it up to your reverse function so it comes on automatically with the reverse lights but i couldn't imagine that one bit dude like this would be so imagine being the person who's waiting for a parking spot and this guy this guy turns his reverse lights on and that's what you're dealing with like no matter you'd be blinding the person way across the parking lot 
Like that would just suck as that person. Let's go to that parking lot right there and reenact what it would be like to have to deal with this guy right here with his S2 Baja design reverse lights on while you're simply waiting for a parking spot. Oh, would you look at that? They're leaving. I'll wait. Hey, would you mind turning them things down a little bit? Jeez. From two rows down, dude, I'm still blinded. If I look into it, that's crazy. Easy right there. So in case you missed the last video, I installed the switch panel, the mic tuning switch panel or mic tuning, or I don't know how you say that, but I put in the switch panel in the last video and I wired it, I wired the trigger fuse to a fuse that supplies power to the fuse at a constant. So the fuse that I hooked up from the switch, the fuse panel under the hood always has power. So essentially everything that I wire into the fuse panel, um, has a constant power supplied to it. So even when the truck is completely off, I can turn everything that's hooked up to that switch panel on even when the truck is totally off. If we're tailgating, if we're whatever we're doing, this could really come in handy. So far I have these reverse pods in here and then I also have the front cube lights on the windshield. So I have the windshield lights up there as well. And it's pretty much it so far. Now I'm gonna end the video right here. I don't wanna do it, but I'm going to because the video is probably gonna make more sense to just dedicate this video to the S2 lights here in the rear. And then tomorrow's video, we'll do the 20 inch light bar on the front grill. But that's about all I have for you guys today though. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on the next one very soon. Until then, peace out.